day after the night before where we announced the PR Lion winners. Um, and you probably have heard by now, but the Grand Prix winner, which was the best of show, the best of, of all the gold winners, was the Chipotle Scarecrow campaign. And basically what this was is a um, food chain that is on a quest to find a sustainable food supply. And the campaign was storytelling at its best. It was a PR-led strategy. And they had a wonderful animated film that um, had a song that was from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Um, it was sung by Fiona Apple. And um, she actually was part of helping it get into pop culture. But I'll explain that in a moment. But um, the overall PR strategy was storytelling at its best. And they had a content-driven communications platform that pulled through many integrated elements. So for example, you have the animated film. Um, the, the film was seeded with a PR strategy where they put it on YouTube for, I think it was four weeks with no paid amplification at all. They were able to get um, somewhat of a, of a momentum going online. They also had an exclusive with USA Today, a major national newspaper, lots of earned media, lots of social media. What was really quite cool is that they also had um, a gamification strategy where they created a, an app that when you downloaded it and, and played the game, if you won, you actually got a coupon on your mobile phone, which enabled you to go into the restaurant to get um, some money off your meal. That also was complemented with um, the the fact that you could download the song on iTunes and it featured Fiona Apple, so that was a whole pop culture um, angle to the story as well. But it was overall, it was um, thought leadership building in the area of food sustainability. And the winning entry was done by a PR firm. It was um, one of our uh, overall competitors, Edelman, and they partnered with CAA, and it was just wonderful. It also won two other golds. So all in all, or I think it was, yes, it was two other golds. So all in all, they, they did very well. Well, um, there were some other really terrific winners. Um, the Honey Made Love campaign got a gold. Um, I'm sure you've seen that before, but it's a wonderful, um, wholesome response to some negativity on social media that um, sprang up via because of an ad that featured um, same-sex and multiracial couple, couples. Uh, another wonderful campaign was the Volvo campaign that featured Jean-Claude Van Damme for... Um, their new line of trucks and this was out of Sweden and that did very well in the integrated category. All in all, it was a great night, um, one I will never forget, standing in front of 3,000 people um, on stage and all I kept thinking is, gosh, don't fall, whatever you do, don't fall. Uh, but it was a wonderful experience. I think now that the festival is in full swing, I'm sure that many of my MSL colleagues will be sharing um, their insights and, and their thoughts on things as well. Uh, we had a, a great panel this morning on millennials and I know that um, Scott Bowden, who leads our uh, corporate branding and citizenship practice I'm sure we'll be sharing information I will um, come back to you again with some more insights from Can but um, I think I'm going to go to sleep have a good one, bye <laughs>